Hello and welcome to the Heritage Glass Museum. My name is Richard Town and I am one of the trustees here at the museum. Today for my presentation on glass containers from the past, I would like to talk about ink bottles. Please note that any bottles that we speak about here at the Heritage Glass Museum were blown into a mold using a good old fashioned lung power and to some degree were finished by hand. The evolution of writing instruments using inks began with reeds in ancient Egypt, followed by quills, metal nibs, fountain pens, and finally ballpoint pens. Likewise, inkwells also evolved from cavities carved in stone, followed by soapstone, onyx, marble, ceramics, metal, shell, and eventually glass, which is the primary focus of the Heritage Glass Museum. Ink bottles typically fall into two, one of two categories. Ink wells, that's these, <clears throat> and uh, larger bottles known as, bulk bottles known as master inks. And that would be represented back here. 19th century ink wells were produced in many shapes such as conical, eight-sided umbrellas, turtle back or igloo, and banana shape. Master inks were usually cylindrical with flared and pouring, and pouring lips. You can see you can see the lip right here with the aid in pouring. And they came in many different sizes. Same name, this happens to be Stafford's. And this is the largest one. And over here, we have Claw's ink in a totally different color. This does not have a pouring lip, but it's flared. And a smaller size in the same color. The small inks served as reservoirs for dipping the tip of one's pen when writing. That's these. Whereas the much larger master inks were used to either refill the small inks when the ink level was low or fill the often heavier, more stylish ink wells that remained on desktops indefinitely. Both ink wells and master inks were produced in a, an array of colors from common aquamarine such as this, to cobalt blue, which are different, we have different shades of, teal green, emerald green, yellow green, olive green, and a very variety of ambers. Ink bottles produced in the 19th century were almost always sealed with a cork. With the invention of the automatic bottle making machine in the very early 20th century, ink bottles began to lose their unique shapes and were sealed with metal and plastic closures. This concludes my discussion on ink bottles. I hope you found it interesting. If you find the history of glass making in the 18th and 19th centuries of interest to you, we strongly recommend that you come and visit us here at the Heritage Glass Museum once the COVID pandemic is under control and we have once again opened our doors to the public. The Heritage Glass Museum has much to offer on this subject.